Hi there, welcome to my tutu with Teacher Brian. Hi folks. Hi mga pasok. Sino ang tawag ng Ang number naman sa baba. Are you talking? Yeah. Tapos, meron ka na lang. Meron kasi iba't ibang uri ng number. Alright, sa previous video ko, naipakita ko na kung ano ang isang random variable. Well, in this session, let us unlock the different types of random variables. So, yes, you heard it right. Pupunta na tayo sa types of variables. Okay. So, in statistics, there are two types of random variables. The first one is discrete. And the other one is continuous. You may now ask, ano bang pinagkaiba nilang dalawa? Meron bang mas importante kesa sa isa? Or meron bang mas ginagamit kesa sa isa? The answer there is, both are important. No? Kasi hindi pwedeng ginagamit yung isa, tapos yung isa hindi. Kasi mamaya, pag in-unlock na natin siya, malalaman ninyo, ah, Discrete and continuous random variables are always around us. Okay, so let's start defining the discrete random variable first. These are the variables that can take a finite countable things. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng kaya mong bilangin ay kabilang sa discrete random variables. Ano ba yung mga kaya natin bilangin? yun yung mga nagtitake ng form ng whole numbers or positive numbers. Gaya ng alin. Gaya ng number of shares. Di ba, nabibilang natin yun. Wala namang bilang na half share or 0.5 share. Laging whole number. Sira man yun o hati man yun sa bilawa. Hiwalay man ang desk or, or meron mang parts ng share na nawawala. It's still counted as one. Di ba? Another is population. Halimbawa, sa klase, wala naman di bang 30.5 students, di ba? Regardless of the characteristic of the human, it is still counted as one. Lagi niyong tatandaan yung pagdating sa population. Okay. Now, here are more examples, di ba? So, kagaya ng sinabi ko, population, it always takes the form of um, whole numbers or the number of students in a cafeteria, or even the number of students in a classroom. Population pa din yun. Wala namang kalahating human eh, di ba? So, lagi silang counted as one as long as it is a living thing inside that classroom, di ba? I mean, a human, no? So, it's still counted as one. Yung number of toys that you receive, halimbawa sa birthday mo, or as a, as a present, So, yan yung tinatawag natin na discrete random variable kasi binibilang natin siya as one. Diba? One thing is equivalent to one count. Right? So, another is the number of pen pencils that you have in your pencil case that is also discrete random variable. Another is the number of likes. Diba? Lagi yung tatandaan na ang discrete random variable ay laging whole number or positive number. Okay, so so much for that. Now, let's move on to the continuous random variable. Let us try to unlock the concept that embodies this kind of random variable. Kung ang discrete ay nagtitake ng whole numbers, ang continuous naman, on the other hand, it takes an infinite number of things. Ibig sabihin, ito yung mga values in the decimals at fractions in numerical form. Kagaya ng height, di ba? Weight at temperature. Di ba sa height, halimbawa, pag sinukat yon, take note of the term, sinukat. 5.5 feet. In decimal form kasi siya, so it is considered as continuous random variable. And always remember, The continuous random variable can only be obtained through measurement. Yes, you heard it right. Kung ang discrete random variable ay nakukuha through counting or pagbibilang, ang continuous random variable naman ay nakukuha through measurement 
or pagsusukat. Okay? So, kagaya nitong mga ito. Yan. The kids high. So, sinusukat yan para makuha. Weight. Sinusukat yan para makuha. Also, it takes the forms of decimals and fractions. Yan lang ilan pa sa mga examples na continuous random variable. Now, let's try some exercise. Okay? Now, what kind of variable is represented by this picture? No? Number of cell phones. Tama. Discrete probability distribution yan. It is because the number of cell phones is countable. Alright? Another. How about this one? What kind of random variable is represented by the distance of Earth from its neighboring stars? Correct. The distance can only be obtained through measurement. Therefore, this is an example of a continuous random variable. Magiging decimal or fraction din kasi ang kanyang resulta. Okay. Also, how about this one? The number of members in a family. Very good. This is an example of a discrete random variable. As I've said earlier, population and its lives will always possess a whole number and is always countable. Okay. So, dili lang, no? Ang dili lang ng concepts, concept ng discrete and continuous. So, sana marami kang natutunan at naiintindihan sa video na ito. You may now proceed to the next video that I prepared for you para malaman mo naman kung paano ginagawa ang isang discrete probability distribution table. See you there!